For this example, we're going to uh, look at how to use StatCrunch again to calculate p-value and test statistic uh, and do a hypothesis test and a confidence interval for a um, claim about two population means that are independent populations. So here we have body temperatures of men and women. And so we've got the results summarized here in a table. And we have our sample sizes of 11 men and 59 women. And we have their sample body temperatures, which are pretty similar, and their standard deviations. Um, we want to test the claim that men have a higher mean body temperature than women. And we're using a 0.05 significance level for this test. So because our claim is that the mu1 is greater than mu2, then we would select our null to be that mu1 is equal to mu2 and that the alternative matches the claim mu1 is greater than mu2. So this is a right-tailed test right now. Now the test statistic we can compute by hand. Um, I'm going to show you how to use StatCrunch to do that. And in that same calculation on StatCrunch, they will give you the test statistic and the p-value for the test. So get your information from the um, table, and then we're going to go over to StatCrunch, and we're going to enter the data in and do the calculation there. OK, so I'm going to go to Stat, T-Stats, to Sample, with Summary. And enter in your data for the first sample. The sample mean was 97.51. Sample standard deviation, 0.83. Sample size was 11. Uh, for the second population, we had 97.25 for the mean. Sample standard deviation is 0.65. And sample size was 59. Uncheck the pool variances. Let's do the hypothesis test first, where the null is that the mu1 minus mu2 is equal to 0, and the alternative for this test is greater than. And let's compute. Okay, so this is just showing um, our test statistic, 0.984, so you could round that to 0.98, p-value 0.1719, so if you rounded it, you could round that off, but there's your test statistic and your p-value using StatCrunch. Now let's go back and um, look at how to form our conclusion with that type of a p-value. OK, so now we have our test statistic was 0.98 and our p-value 0.172. So compare that p-value to your significance level of the test. The significance level was 0.05. Since 0.172 is greater than alpha, the significance level, then we would fail to reject the null. And if we fail to reject the null, it could be true. So there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that men have higher mean body temperatures than women. Now let's set up the confidence interval, and let's go back to StatCrunch. Now, in order to do the confidence interval, we do need to know the confidence level for the test. Now, this one is a one-tailed test. So to set that up, then we know that alpha is 0.05. That was our significance level for the hypothesis test. That's 0.05 in one tail because this was a greater than or a right tail test. So when we do the confidence level, it is always a two tail situation here. And we have 0.05 in one tail. So that means in the other tail, we also have 0.05. That's 10%. And so then we have 90%. That's our level in the middle of those tails. So our confidence level for this is going to be 90%. So then let's go to stat and t stats to sample with summary and enter in your summary data again. So we have 97.51, standard deviation 0.83, sample size 11, sample mean 97.25, standard deviation 0.65, and sample size 59. Uncheck pool variances and let's do confidence interval and we want to change the level to 0.90. So compute, and here are the results of our 90% confidence interval. So we have our 
lower limit is negative 0.2096, so depending on how they want you to round that, but that would be your lower limit, and your upper limit, 0.729. Notice that this interval contains zero. It goes from negative to positive. So they wanted us to round to three decimal places, so that would round to negative 0.210 to 0.730. So does the confidence interval support the conclusion? Yes, because the confidence interval contains zero. If it contains zero, then that means that there could be no difference in body temperatures for the men and the women, and that's exactly what our hypothesis test results showed.